good afternoon, billionaires. It's your billionaire boss, Shake Tiffany Renee, H-E-I-R, heir to the throne. Join in with Christ, equipping you to live this kingdom life. And today is Wednesday, another episode of Biblically Speaking, where we take trending topics and give you a biblical worldview. And tonight's lesson is going to be a little bit of a recap and a little bit expounding, but it's going to be a short lesson. I just want to get back into the things I've been out sick. So, um, missed a couple of weeks, but I wanted to just get back into it and just ask you, have you been using your dunamis power, your miracle working power? Have you been using that? Have you accessed it? And we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. So let's go ahead and go before the father and um, begin to pray. Father God, we just say thank you for all that you're doing in this season. We bless you, magnify you, glorify you, and wor worship you. We ask you to Forgive us of all of our sins, Father, those that we are well aware of and those that we are not uh, aware of. We ask you to cover us with the blood of Jesus from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And we ask you to activate our dunamis power. Allow us to be begin to flow from that miracle working power that you've bestowed upon us and that we will be even more cognizant of it and utilizing it to edify and equip the body of Christ. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So that word is dunamus. And so in the past, we've talked about, um, let me exit this here. In the past, we have talked about um, dunamis power, miracle work and power, power that gives you the ability to influence, power that gives you that, that power that gives you the ability to create wealth, which is what God talks about. Um, and last time that we spoke, we talked about the power that this power ends demonic attacks. And we talked about how the de how the demonic util utilizes their power and how we can release dunamis power for ourselves to combat that, how we can bind up a stronghold and release that dunamis power to uh, take care, to really bind that, that thing up and get rid of it out of our lives. And so tonight we're going to expound a little bit more. And we're talking about dunamis power, miracle working power that empowers you to prosper financially. And I want to go back to um, John 3, 2, where it says that um, that it says that you will prosper even as your soul prospers. And that word prosper in that verse is edu, edu which means to succeed in business affairs. And I'm one that you all know, and I'm the billionaire boss chick. I talk about owning business and having ownership, but it's really important that we understand that that's part of um, a kingdom assignment. No, everybody's not going to be um, boss over a Fortune 500 company, but you do need to have some type of ownership because you are a king in the kingdom and a king has dominion. A king has a kingdom. So you can't reign over anything if you don't have anything to reign over. So the Bible wants us to have, or the you know, God wants us to have ownership. And if you think about it, like most of the disciples, all of them had some type of business of their own. And so just think about that. We give, God gives us gifts and talents. Those things come without repentance, but it's to help you, help you as well as to help the kingdom. So God wants us to prosper in all your financial endeavors. Um, but part of that only happens when your soul prospers. So as your soul, your will, your mind and emotion, as your soul begins to prosper, as you begin to heal your soul, those things can be released through you um, and to you. So once your soul is healed, dunamis will cause you to walk in the power and influence um, that belongs to riches and wealth is what Katie says. And she gives an example. Do you notice that those people who are wealthy, how much influence and power that they actually and authority that they actually have? Um, so one person who possesses wealth can literally change the world. And that's what we're here for. We're here to be change agents for the kingdom of God. So as many philanthropists have done, you know, this through the years is what she speaks of. And so we want to be looking at ourselves as those philanthropists. We want, how much more would it be more impactful for the kingdom if people of God were in positions to do philanthropy, which is what we're supposed to be doing anyway. All right. So um, as we get our souls healed, then we're able to um, really begin to utilize this dunamis power. And we're going to talk a little bit about how uh, did I go backwards? how um, 
this can also affect us in general. It, the, dunamis power can heal generational wounds um, from the wounds from the womb. <laughs> so uh, we talked about this in the past that things can be passed down to us generationally through our bloodline. We talked about cleansing the bloodline. As you cleanse the bloodline, your soul is beginning to be healed and then you are able to have more access, more authority um, to do more things. And so that same thing um, is what this is is kind of talking to talking about. So it says in a previous chapter, we talked about the fact that soul wounds can come from generational iniquities and be passed down to you while you are being formed in the womb. The good news is that dunamis is so powerful. It can heal you of these generational iniquities and birth defects that come from, from them. So, uh, and she gives an example of not forgetting when um, Peter um, healed the impotent man. So it says, don't forget that Peter called this man impotent, referring to the state of his soul. So it wasn't just talking about his physical being, but he was talking about his soul, his inner man, his mind, his will and emotions. So he was born with a soul wound that made his, his body physical, his physical body lame. So he had a um, infirmity or deformity because of the wound that was in his soul. So after Peter and John healed the man, Peter told everyone that, um, you know, how they did it. So he goes on to say this. And so in Acts, um, this is Acts 3.12 here. It says, fellow Israelites, why does, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godly, godliness, we made this man walk? So he's saying, this was not by, this was not by my might, not by my power, but this was the will of God. This was the power of the living God that is dwelling within, within me. That power that he speaks of there is talking about dunamis. Um, here, Peter is saying, look, it wasn't by my own ability that this man was healed. It was by the dunamis power of the Lord Jesus Christ, that miracle working power that Jesus said we would do even greater things than him. The only way we're able to do that is through dunamis. So, it was dunamis that healed that man of not only the wound he received in the um, while in the womb, but also the physical disease that came from it. So he healed him at the root. And so this is why um, it's very important that you spend time with the Father, asking Holy Spirit, asking Jesus to reveal things, reveal areas in you that are hidden, that are wounds that may be deeply rooted so that we can pluck those things out at the root. So um, I want us to just really think about that this week. I'm not, like I said, this is going to be a very short lesson, but I want us to really think about that dunamis power, that miracle working power that you have access to, that God has given you. We come to, we come with a full tank of it. And I want you to ask yourself, am I utilizing my dunamis power? And the prayer that I want to pray over you to pray over you today is the prayer activation in the book, Healing the Wounded Soul by, Soul by Katie Sosa. And I really want us to start focusing on that because, like I said, in this dispensation, God is really calling, causing the church to mature. So he's really maturing us to kingdom living. And in the kingdom, we're supposed to be able to speak and create. We're supposed to be able to walk as kingdom citizens. And so when we don't have our souls healed, then this stops us from being able to really walk in the full authority that God wants for us. So these things can be overcome, right, by the will of the Lamb and the blood of the testimony. But it's through those things that God has is teaching us so that we know what we need to do when we're out in the world. And so he's given us this power, this dunamis power, this teaching is this is educating you. This is empowering you to be able to utilize these things on a grander scale so that when you do begin to speak and create, you see things that are out of order, out of order. You're you are you don't have any limitations on the authority that you can exercise from, because when our wound, when our souls are wounded, it limits us from having free access to the things and walk in the real authority that God wants and has for us. So we're going to pray. Um, this prayer tonight over you. And I want you to just leave from here tonight thinking, am I using my dunamis power? Am I using my dunamis power? Ask yourself that question. And if you are not, then ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you areas in which your wound, your souls may be wounded 
and help you to begin to heal those areas. So let's go before the Father. Let's close this chapter by putting our dunamis power to work. So pray the following soul healing prayer with me. Lord Jesus, the Bible says that when I was born again, the Holy Spirit came into me and brought dunamis with him. Now I decree that I have a tank full of power that never runs out and that causes me to be able to perform miracles, gives me the power and influence that comes with riches and wealth and makes me excellent of soul. I put the dunamis that is in me to work right now so I can have above and beyond anything I could ever ask or imagine. I command dunamis to heal me of all the effects of trauma in my soul and in my body. I decree that dunamis is healing me of everything I have in my soul of Satan, so he will have no power over me. I pray as Paul prayed that I would be strengthened and reinforced with the mighty power of dunamis in my inner man so I can resist all sin. I release my mighty weapon of dunamis so my soul can become strong and I can break every stronghold in my mind. And I decree that my soul is prospered by dunamis so I can prosper my fight in my finances and gain the power and influence that come with riches and wealth. In Jesus' name, amen. So you guys, pray that prayer, repeat that prayer, listen to it, get it down in your spirit, but activate your dunamis power. It's miracle working power. It's a gift that God has given you. Jesus wants you to be utilizing it because he wants us to take over for the kingdom of God. So it has been a pleasure speaking with you all tonight. I am Tiffany Renee, your billionaire boss chick, H-E-I-R, heir to the throne, joint heir with Christ, here to equip you to live this kingdom life. And this is Biblically Speaking, where we give you, we take trending topics and give you a biblical worldview. I know this was a short lesson tonight, but next week we're going to talk about what is stopping you from flowing in your dunamis power. What is stopping you from flowing in your dunamis power? So get ready for next week because it's going to be a little lengthy one. But I wanted to just share this with you tonight. And to next week, we will reconvene and we will start getting down and dirty so that you can learn how to use these things to overcome the enemy, bind the strong man, and begin to walk in the authority that Christ has given you. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. I bless you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Until next time, you all be blessed.